Mumbai has my heart, but it's really affecting my brain health. I recently read an article which has confirmed what healthcare professionals have long suspected that air pollution increases the risk for dementia. And now it is getting reported that the number of dementia patients are increasing in areas which are highly air polluted. The air quality in Delhi has been hovering around 300 AQI and unfortunately Mumbai is not far behind. Even though we in Mumbai are currently able to avoid major problems, we need to address the biggest pollutants which are urban dust, construction particulates, traffic emissions and sea salt particles. The winters create low wind conditions which trap pollutants increasing PM2.5 levels. The atmospheric pressure makes it even worse and combining this with nitrogen dioxide, it can cross the blood-brain barrier and directly impact the brain. All of this impacts memory, attention and will cause overall cognitive damage. Remember to safeguard your brain health and your lung health by making changes in your environment and your lifestyle. Wear an N95 mask when you exit the house and when you're in outdoor open spaces. Add high CADR and multi-stage filtration devices in your home. Also, you can practice yogic cleanses such as Jal Neti and practice Pranayam to increase your lung capacity. There are multiple foods and supplements which can actually help you combat the impact of air pollution. Certain foods can help like leafy greens which include spinach, lettuce, methi, Apart from that, tomatoes and pumpkin, multiple types of berries, flax seeds and chia seeds and supplements like vitamin C, E, magnesium, zinc, NAC, omega 3, 6, 9. All of these can help you combat the impact of air pollution. Bad air quality also affects your sleep quality and poor sleep in turn impacts your overall brain health. AQI of over 150 affects your lung efficiency and recovery, especially in adults, but even more so in children, which we're going to cover in part two of this video.